Oh, lucky we're way near the end there. All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. So it's finished at the stadium light, Sunderland 1, Swindon 0. And if I was a Swindon supporter, I would I would be very optimistic about that, about relegation battle. I know they're in 18th and they did lose tonight, but they've got to take a bit of pride in that performance. The defensively, they were, they were solid. It took... It's like a set piece to, to actually get a goal. And a great header by Charlie White, which the keeper couldn't do out about. And the, and the lone keeper who they've got in, he, he had a really good game. He, he looked at a good keeper. Maguire, near the end, not really one-on-one, -on -one, but he, he makes space for a shot. He dummies it, then guns to hit it hard. And the keeper did make a good save. So if I was a Swindon supporter, I would I would be optimistic about the rest of the season. Like you say, the... the they hadn't lost the last three games coming in tonight's game. And it, and it did take a really good goal. And we could have lost it right at the last. A free kick. I'm not sure what it was from. But it beat Lee Burge. And it was from Canny Far out on the uh, right, left or right, right hand side. Sorry. And it dips and it hits the crossbar. Comes out for a corner. And we, we got off for it. We really did. Moving on to Sunderland. We were very sloppy. All game. It was an absolute terrible first half performance from everybody. Jones's movement in the first 15 minutes was it was good. It, he looked like he was playing like a free Roman position. He was drifting from side to side, and, he, and I thought if we can uh, get him in, involved in this game, he's going to do well in this game. But it just didn't happen for him. It didn't happen for him at all. We, 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 there was no uh, options. Winchester was on the ball. He was looking for a forward pass. There was nobody in support, and he ended up losing possession. Defensively, we were okay-ish. It's an improvement from the last game, to be honest. Uh, o nine and Sanderson, they had good games. They were clearing the, the lines when needed be. Uh, I was very disappointed in Jones. I, th I was expecting a lot from him. I really, uh, he, he was just quiet. And uh, he ended up getting substituted. The one who's making noise to be in the starting lineup is Maguire. He come on and he looked good. He looked sharp. His little back heels into McGeady and McGeady just... Passing out to the right and then bringing it back just to ease a bit of pressure. And then he set piece right on Charlie White's head. I was on a live on Fans React and I was saying, put this on Charlie White's head and he'll score. And he did. And I was, oh, I was buzzing. I was buzzing. I was talking to my mate just before the game and I was saying, when they, I'd take a sloppy 1 0 win. And that's exactly what Sunderland done. It was sloppy. There was no tempo. There was no forward momentum. There was no little triangular passes. I give him goals and getting into the boxes. Gooch done it once. He knocked the ball past their defender, ran around him, got into the box, and he took his shot away and it went to the side net. And Gooch was in the first half probably the most brightest player out of the Sunderland team. He was making things happen. He was bursting down the wing, and he was sometimes cutting inside. Didn't get his wrong. He took a shot and it ballooned right up. He should have laid somebody off there. It was too many people. It was too many. It was it was congested. A lot of the game. Uh, Swindon was sitting back and they were gone for the point but they were soaking up the pressure and it was very congested in their half in the final third and we were finding a, a, a task and a half just to get any shots at their goal yes we had all the possession but that means nout if you didn't have the three points and I'm just so glad we got the three points it's a job done in my opinion move on to Rochdale we'll Hopefully we can beat Rochdale and then it's there's no pressure on us against Portsmouth. Scores went for us again to, tonight. Lincoln got beat. Um, the only one is Hull picked up more points but they've got games in hand on us. Um, with that being said, we moved up into fourth now and hopefully we can just cement that position for now. If we can just continue picking up points now, it's... It's, go it's looking good. If we can just go on a run, if it's here five or six games, we can push for that automatics. Because, like I say, Lincoln got beat tonight. Uh, Doncaster beat Portsmouth tonight. So it's starting to look a little bit rosy as a Sunderland supporter. Sw if Swindon done really well, put up a good fight, sat back. Defensively, they were strong. Uh, the goalkeeper was good. It was just coming forward. They weren't like in the final third. They weren't the best, but that a few set pieces, free kicks. Burge had to dig a double save in the first half. Then another free kick. It was dipping, but he got down low. Burge. The probably will be gutted in a way because they would have wanted a point after holding on for so long. But 
I'm relieved, especially after that free kick near the end. Man, Jesus Christ, that was unreal. With that being said, everybody, can you just please hit the thumbs up? Help us get to 2,000 by Christmas. That's me. Um, by the end of the year, I'm trying to get to 2,000. And I'm going to bring you loads of content. Um, score predictions as well. I'm going to try and get other people involved in that. And also, match reaction, you know what I mean? And hopefully, if the footy guy's back, I can bring you the vlogs. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next video.